Uh, so why might somebody with COPD eventually end up needing oxygen therapy? Absolutely. So as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease becomes a more severe disease, uh, the, da- the lungs get damaged to the point that it's unable to extract the oxygen out of the air that we all breathe in the atmosphere, and we have to give people extra oxygen, sort of a enhanced oxygen or oxygen boost, so that they're getting extra oxygen, so that that so that they get the enough oxygen into their lungs and then in, into their bloodstreams. So if someone needs oxygen and they have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that probably means they have advanced COPD and it's advanced to, uh, to a point now where the lungs are now not able to really function in the way they were designed to. Typically, um, um, people need oxygen when they have less than about 50% of their lung function or 50% of a normal lung function. When you get below that, that's typically about the time we start to see people needing oxygen. It initially starts with needing oxygen when they're walking around or exercising or walking upstairs. So with exertion, as we call it in medicine, and then eventually, if whatever damage is happening is allowed to continue, will then require that that same individual require oxygen, even when they're at rest. So even when they're sitting, watching TV, reading a book, um, they would need oxygen. So the the big picture here is that uh, get diagnosed early, um, figure out how best to protect the real estate in your lungs that you have, um, because if you can stop the injury to your lungs, it is unlikely that you'll then need oxygen as you get older. But if you get diagnosed later, you continue to smoke or you continue to breathe in polluted air, then you may end up with enough lung damage that now you're at the point where the lungs are not able to fully function and you need oxygen uh, in order to extra oxygen for you to, for your, your body to get the oxygen that it needs. Might people also sometimes need oxygen therapy while they sleep? Absolutely. So uh, exactly. So um, uh, there are three circumstances that you might need oxygen. So as I mentioned, it usually begins with requiring oxygen when you're walking around or exercising or going up some stairs. Um, the individuals that need oxygen with exertion sometimes also need it during sleep or they might need it only during sleep. Um, and then as the lung disease gets more severe, then you also need it at rest when you're awake. So oftentimes um, if you have advanced lung disease with COPD, Um, and you haven't taken the steps necessary to protect your lungs, or it was too late to protect your lungs, you may need oxygen 24 hours a day um, during sleep, while being awake, and doing exercise. And the goal of really working with your doctor, nurse, and respiratory therapist is to figure out whatever we can do together in order to protect your lungs and prevent further lung damage to the point that you need oxygen. If you do need oxygen therapy, then um, you and your doctor will need to figure out if you need it you know, during rest, while you're asleep or with activity. And those are the conversations you need to be having with your care team.